Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Welcome back. Welcome back. Hope you're having a great time there at home. I wonder if you, uh, I mean, have uh, dinner already? Did you have your dinner? Did you um did you, did you have some coffee? Did you drink some coffee? No. <laughs> okay. No teacher. Hello, Christopher. Hello, Norma. Hello, Christopher. I am on the board. Ah, all right. Hey, oh, thank. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for being on time in the class. Hello. Yes, okay, hello, Jorge. Good evening. Hope you don't have any problem with your microphone or with your camera, because I, I only see your your picture, right? And I don't listen to you. You can use the microphone, right, if you want to say hello to everyone. Hello, Irving. I can see that you are very busy there. I think I you are at that. home, right? Vienen tres de pescado y dos de frijol con queso. All right, Irving, thank you. Yes. Irving, how, how many pupusas? <laughs> yes, excuse me. Oh, it's all right, don't worry. Hey, tell me, Christopher, what's going on? Yes, I have problem. The signal is back. Uh, uh, so problems with your camera? Um, no, with my, with my signal is back. I, I'm um, so, so uh -huh. I go, I go to my phone. Ah, all right. So you are commuting. Yes. You are getting yes, back yes. home. Okay, Christopher, yes. I will take it into consideration. All right. So as soon as you get at home. Try to um get concentrated into the class, please. Thank you, sir. All right, be careful, okay. please, Christopher. Be careful. Okay. All right. Now I have Wilson, Rebecca, and let me see. I only have nine people. Hey, I'm still waiting for the rest. Okay, so I. I want everybody to participate and to be in the class. Gloria got into the class. Hello, Gloria. Good night, Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. I have Kenya also. Hey, I don't see Cecibel, right? Cecibel is like, she's on time all the time. Alba, Alba is just getting connected to the class. Okay. Uh, let us wait a little bit. Let us wait a little bit so that uh, the majority of the people can uh, get into the class. I hope that you could see the video uh, in a link I shared. Okay, remember people to activate your camera. That's quite good, quite important for me. Remember, okay, activate your camera. It's important. We want to see you. Uh, we want to see you there practicing English all the time. Okay, and let me see. Diana got into the class. Hello, Diana. Diana is in the class. Wilson also. But hey, Wilson, how are you doing there? Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening. I'm calling from web. Ah, you... ah, okay. Thanks for letting me know, uh, Wilson. Diana George is saying, what's going on? I'm here, teacher. Hello, Diana. Hello. Good to see you. Uh, good, good to listen to you. George. Okay. Norma says, I have problems. Uh, all right. Norma Beatriz. Okay. Norma, you couldn't get into the class yesterday, right? Okay, let me see, Jorge says, 
He has problems yeah. also. For his idea. Hey, okay, people, let's get down to business. Let us start with our class today. You know, we are missing a couple of activities. We are going to be done with with the section number three. I hope that you already uh, completed your midterm, and I hope that you have good news for me. Okay, quite important for me to listen to, hey, teacher, I got the 80%, teacher, I got the 90%, or teacher, I got the 100% of the midterm. That's what I want you, you to tell me, okay? Because if you got like 80%, 90%, or 100%, so that means that, wow, you did a great job. Did you do your midterm, people? How was it? Alma says, Alma, you uh, did I, it. I finished the midterm. You you finished. Me too. How was it? I finished. How was it? was finished. good? I finished, teacher. All right. One. So, how, how percent? Uh, you got 100%. 100. Fantastic. Congrats. Hey, clap your job. All right. So that's that's the way it is. What about the rest? Julio. Hello, Julio. Julio says, sir, raised his hand. What's going on? Yes. Yeah, Julio. How was your midterm? No, I don't understand. Your test, I mean. Uh, you got 80%, 90%, or 100% in your mere term. 100%. You got a 100%. Fantastic. Very good. Okay, I hope everybody uh, could get the 100%. That is like what well, would be like perfect for me to listen to you just telling me that you got 100% in the, in the midterm. All right, tomorrow we're gonna have some review about it. Okay, today we have st we still have some activities, and uh, you know I got something else for you for you to be working on today. So let us start. Okay, let us try to finish with the activities that the platform presents. All right, let me see somebody's chatting. Norma. Oh, okay, Norma. I will I will just. Okay, I'm sorry to know about it, Norma. Hope you get better soon. Okay, now I will start sharing. Remember, uh... all right, it's over here. Okay, people, now, now we're going to try to finish as quickly as possible so that we can have uh, some extra time to be working on a different activity. Uh, yesterday we were just working on a, a topic about giving, asking and giving directions, right? Do you remember some expressions to ask for directions? Do you remember? Can you mention some, some expressions you lear learned yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. But... Go ahead. Yeah, teacher. Yeah, I mean, uh, expressions about asking uh, for directions or giving directions in English. That was our topic, right? Mm -hmm. Direct. Uh, actually, you had you had uh, a homework, right? You have two conversations. Okay, we're gonna go over them today. Okay, so I, I want I will try to uh, take advantage of time. We're gonna go over this activity and later we're gonna go over the activity number 11 and that's it. I think we're gonna be done with, with the section number three, okay? And then you will have the opportunity to tell us the conversation, both conversations, okay? Two conversations, but let's go over it. I hope that you are more than ready. Here we go. Uh, give me one second. Give me one second, please, because I don't know what, what I did. This is the one. Okay. Uh, let me know if you can listen to it. Do you listen to it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. now yes. we're going to yeah. see, we're going to work a little bit different just right now. We're going to see the questions. Now, where can the woman get stamps is the first. 
What do they need? Is the second one? Uh, where is the gas station? Is the third one? And how can the woman get to the restroom? Is the last, I think, yeah. This is the last one. So just for you, just for you to um, remember about what we were studying yesterday. Okay, let us listen to it. Then I will ask four people to provide answers, to give answers. Okay, here we go. Get concentrated because I will ask questions also about Units 13 to 14 progress check. Page 98. Exercise 1. Listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. 1. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters, and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. Number two. Two. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. All right, number three. Three. Excuse me, is there a gas station around here? Um, I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Number four. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. All right. Uh, I, I have the answers, people, okay? In the first one, in the first one, uh, where can the woman get the stamps? Well, she can get the stamps at the bank. Is that right? No, 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 no. it's number one. It's number one. No, but I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, very sorry. No, but I heard clearly that the person said at the bank. No. Am I, no. Am I correct? I'm I am mistaken. I am mistaken. Am I mistaken, people? Estoy equivocado. Am I mistaken? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So what is what is yes. the, what is the correct yes. answer here? Number one. Number one. Are, are you sure it's I at the drugstore? Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sure. Oh, okay. If you want to get a bad grade, it's up to you. Yo creo que el teacher oye mejor, pero si usted dice que es ahí, bueno, a ver, no nos sacamos una mala nota. Okay. Number two. I hear that they need some sandwiches. Is that true? <laughs> No. 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 They need They need drinks. They need drinks. Actually, I don't know what happened to me because I heard the sandwiches. They need some sandwiches. No. 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 They need drinks. I had two options. Well, it's okay. I, 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 I will, I will check the one that you say, right? But it's up to you. Voy a chequear la que usted diga, pero al final vamos a ver quién estaba en lo correcto. Okay, number three. Where's the gas station? I hear that the person said by the supermarket. No, no. Number two. I don't I don't know what you're saying so but listen I hear but I hear very clearly by the supermarket 
No, no, it's number no, two. Dice, dice que, al principio dice que es en la esquina y ahí todo eso ahí. All right, so anyways, I, I will follow what you are saying. And the last one, yes. Don't tell me that it is not the correct one because I will I will get mad. I will become crazy. Si me dice que estoy mal aquí, me voy a volver loco. Yo soy el teacher. I hear clearly, I hear clearly that the person said, go down the street for two blocks and turn left and she can use the restroom at the restaurant. No. no, it's go up the street go and turn left. Yeah, number two, number two. Number two. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's see what's going on. Okay, hey, I will, I will give you an extra point, okay? Si, si me ganaron esto, les voy a dar un, un punto extra. Ya voy a ver en qué materia, pero no en inglés, okay? <laughs> En matemática. Ah, ok, <risa> mathematics, all right. Porque no puedo creer que ustedes me hayan ganado en esto. No, ok, you got the, the, you got number four correctly. On the corner of the main street, or oh, number three. They need, they needed some drinks. Actually, I don't believe it. And the first one, at the drugstore. Wow, well, congrats, people. You did a great job, as always. Siempre hacen las cosas muy bien, okay? Congrats, very good. Now, let us move on quickly, people, because I, I have something else over here. We're gonna try to go over it as quickly as possible, okay? Over here, you're gonna develop some uh, reading skills, okay? Some skills in reading or for details in making inferences. Okay, now if you want to read the um, the lesson objective in Spanish, you know that you have it there, right? I will try to, to keep talking in English most of the time so that you get accustomed to it. Hey, reading. After after reading this part, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do something, people. First, you I will ask, let me see, three couples, uh, volunteers to perform the conversation. Okay, at least one or two conversations. Okay, remember about homework I assigned yesterday. Do you remember about homework? Yeah, teacher. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So today yeah, is the teacher. day, right? Today is the day, pronunciation and uh, you know vocabulary and everything you were practice, uh, practicing. And right now we're gonna read, let me see if, if I can, Make it bigger. All oh, right, let me see. I think we are gonna see it through YouTube, and we're going to try to improve the the information here. Hi, everyone. Give me one second. Okay, we're gonna try with this one. Okay, uh, are you able to see the video in YouTube, people? Yes or no? Yes, I do. All right, so let us see what's going on there. Try to listen to, try to read the information about uh, different places the person is going to uh, present because later I have another activity. Remember, after this part, you're going to have the opportunity to practice the conversation during the class time. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop skills in reading for details and making uh, uh, uh. inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your reading an article titled uh, sorry. A Walk that Up was my fault. Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on 5th Avenue, between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. 2. 
Take on one. Now walk up Fifth Avenue, seven blocks, to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Three. Number three. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. Number You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. Four. Right across from Rockefeller Center on 5th Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from... Hello, good evening for people who are just getting to the class. Hey, listen. Uh... Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people... No, sorry, that is something different. All right, so let's get, get back. Okay, I think I can get the, the image. If I can't, so you are going to start talking about the conversation, okay? You were saying yesterday. Now we stop. Um, no, this is a midterm. Okay, I will stop uh, sharing and now uh, I want to listen to some people. Irving wants to participate. I can see his hand uh, raised. Is that right, Teacher. Irving? Teacher, excuse me. I work all the night and I, I don't feel me good. <laughs> excuse me. Hey, why don't you drink? Why don't you drink some coffee? Uh, I, teacher, I, I am the policeman and I don't feel me good. I, I, I don't have feel me good. You don't feel that good. Oh, I'm no. sorry to know about it, Irving. Sorry, okay. teacher. Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to know about it. Okay, and and, and, and we hope you get better, uh, Guillermo. I want to sleep. Hey, but don't. You should. I would Okay. Try. Okay. Sure. Let... I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't feel me good. Yeah, I understand, Irving. Don't worry. Okay, if you want to, don't worry. Okay, if you want to listen to only, it's okay. I won't ask anything in the class. All right. Okay, teacher. Thank okay. you. Don't worry, but stay in the class at least. Try to listen to and see what what we are doing in the class. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, very good. Now, I need volunteers, people. Okay. All right, I need volunteers. Let me see your hands. Hi, teacher. Uh, okay, Alba wants to participate. Alba, who did you work with? Okay, number one. Yeah, all right. Alba, and? Me. Alba, and? and, and? I want to participate. Uh, Alba and Gloria. Okay, Alba and Gloria. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the, the yesterday, how was the yesterday? Yeah. The homework that I, I assigned yesterday. Mm. Teacher. Yo yeah. no estaba con, con Gloria, sino que uh, mm -hmm. mi alum. Lo iba a hacer sola. Uh, okay, okay, so go ahead. Alba. Yo estoy con Kenia. Uh -huh. Kenia Margarita. Uh, yeah. Okay. Pero, uh, um, no. teacher, no. my, my alone. Yeah. Nos, puede poner, nos uh -huh. puede poner la imagen tal vez porque yo no la tengo. Okay, give me one second. I will try to share it. Okay, give me one second. All right. Let me see if I get it. Let me see, cause. Teacher. Hello. Quisiera pedir una disculpa, pero yo no me siento bien ahorita. Ya, ya no aguanto porque anoche trabajé toda la noche y ahora todo el día y creo que voy a abandonar la casa. Eh, Irving. Sí. Uh, ok, Irving. Le decía en inglés, Irving, que si no se siente bien, que lo lamentamos. 
pero yo no le voy, no le voy a este, pedir su participación, pero si puede quedarse por lo menos de oyente, estaría bien ahora sí, de verdad, no se siente muy bien. Si no se siente muy bien, entonces ya esto quedó grabado en, en, la, la, en la reunión. Y el no... sueño me está doblando ya, yo toda la noche trabajé y no me siento como que, siento que ya me voy a dormir pues. Ok, Irving, ahí este, usted considérelo y si no puede quedarse con nosotros ahora, descanse y esperamos verlo mañana, ¿ok? Sí, sí, sí. Gracias. All right, all right. Ok, people. Let me see. I don't remember. Ok, let me pronunciation on the was not this one. Prepositions of place. Uh -oh. Give me one second, please. This is the one. Wow. Right? Uh -huh. This is, I think this is the one. Fifth uh, Avenue. No. Uh, teacher, um, yeah. complete. Okay, now, now you can, you can, you can do it. Now the, 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 the conversation is there, right? Uh -huh. um, I can do, do, do. Yeah, Alba, you can, you can, okay. Alba. Okay. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Can you hear me? How do you have to see the Artist Cathedral? Just walk out, find Avenue to 15th Street. Um, is St. Patrick's is on the right? Is this near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. Um, where is this fine style garden? Is this far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. And look up. Hey, wow. Congratulations, Alba. Okay, because I can see that you have been practicing the conversation. Thank you very much, okay. Alba. Thank you. You did a Thank great job. Hey, just remember that this verb is get, get, Alba. Get. Yeah, get. That is the verb. All right. So let me see. Let's see what's going on with, with, is there, a, I mean, there are, are there some other volunteers? I can see Gabriela. Gabriela wants to participate. I wonder yes, if there, let me see, let me see. Gabriela and? Y Hi. Wilson. And Wilson. Okay, Gabriela and yes. Wilson. Okay, now try to do your best, please, Gabriela and Wilson. Okay, teacher. Here we go. Excuse me, ma'am. Can't you help me? How do you get from San Patrick Cathedral? Just walk up First Avenue to First Street. Saint, Saint Patrick is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. Where is the Empire State Building? It is right for him. It's right behind you. You just turn, turn around and look up. You are welcome. That was it? Yes. Wow, fantastic. Yes, hey, is. wow. I, I can see that you were like practicing a lot. Okay. Congratulations. That's what I'm asking for. Let me see people who have a uh, hand Thank raised. Thank you, teacher. You did it. Okay. okay. I have Diana Gabriela wants to participate. Is that right, Diana? Manda? Do, do, do you, Diana? No. Okay, who wants? No, Carlos Ernesto is the one, right? Hello, Carlos. Are you ready? Yeah, teacher. Uh, who did you work with, Carlos? Who Who did you work with? Con quién trabajó? Sube trabajando con. I I work with. Iris. 
Ah, ok. Iris. Iris Elizabeth. Yep. Yes, teacher. All right. Are you ready now? Yes. Okay, yes. go ahead. Go ahead. Let us practice. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do you get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? You just walk up Fifth Avenue yeah. to Fifty Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes. It's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. Wow, that was great. Now, that was great, people. That's what I was looking for, okay? That you could practice during the day so that you can show everybody that your transition is getting better. Congrats, really good, all right? I wonder if there are some other people who want to participate, I want to see your hands. If you want to participate or, or if, you, okay, I have, let me see, I have Rebecca, right? Rebecca and I also have, well, Rebecca is the one. Rebecca, who do you work with, Rebecca? I work with Norma. With? With Norma Beatriz. Uh, all right, with Norma, okay. But I don't know, Norma told me that she has some problems to participate right now. No teacher, si voy a participar. Ah, okay, very good. Uh -huh. So let us start then, Norma and, and Rebecca, please. Excuse me, man, can you help me? How do I get to Patrick Cathedral? This world? Up Fight Avenue to 50th Street. Seth Patrick, it is on the right. Right. It's near Rocket Rock Filler Center. Yes, it is right. Across from the Rocker Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It's far from here. It is right behind you. Just turn it around and look up. Just turn it around and look up. Excellent, people. What can I say? That you are doing a great job. Okay, I can see that there are some other people wanting who wants to participate. I saw Jose, Jose and Julio, right? I saw Julio. Julio raised your, your hand, and I also saw Jose. Jose, are you ready? Pero no puedo ver, teacher. No. No se ve la imagen. No, uh, give me one second, please, because I. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what did I do? Give me one second, please. Give me one second, please. Uh, now, yes, right? Oh. Ay, ay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, my partner, what is teacher? Who is? Uh, it's up to you. You decide. Only so, only alone. All, all right. If you want to read it alone, you can do it. That's a Luis. Okay. Excuse me, my aunt. Can you help me? How do you get up to Patrick Cathedral? Just walk. 50th Avenue to 50th Street. Patrick is on the right. It's near Rockefeller Center. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And what is the Empire State Building? Yeah, it's far from here. It is right behind you. Just turn around and look. All right, that was that was quite good. Now, something that I oh, want you good. to, yeah, it was it was good. It was really okay. nice. Yeah, okay. but I I I need to I need I mean I need to make some observations. Okay, when you when, when you see a video and when you listen to it like one time, 
It's uh -huh. all right. You listen carefully, okay, and try to get the pronunciation into your mind. Okay, second, I try. Yeah, second. I mean, a second. You you have to see it a second time. If you don't get the right pronunciation in the second time, see it a third time. Okay, and if you still have problems with with it, so you can see it as many uh, times as you wish. Okay? okay, but the pronunciation for this word is just. Yes. Just. Just turn. Just okay. turn around. All right, very good. Okay, and I, I think we still have uh, time for two people more. I can see uh, Salvador wants. Salvador, Salvador wants to participate. Okay, Salvador, are you ready? Okay. Yes, it's a... Okay, Salvador, go ahead. Who with do you Sandra. work with? You and Sandra. Yes. Okay. You can start. Sandra, lista? Ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. Excuse me, Maya. Can you help me? How do you, I get up Sir Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk, walk up Fifth Avenue to 15th Street. Street Patrick's is on the right. It is near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? It is far from here. It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. And look up. All right. Hey, and look up. Yeah, Sandra, that was quite good. And also Salvador. Hey, uh, remember the transition of this word is behind or behind? Behind, behind. Around, around. Okay. All right, so, but you did a great job. Hey, listen, in order to take advantage of time, vamos a tomar ventaja del tiempo. No crean que los que no han participado no lo van a hacer. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Vamos, vamos a decir la otra, Ticho. Sí, pero la vamos a dejar pendiente porque que, okay. acá tengo otra actividad. Vamos a hacer algo, eh, chicos, vamos a hacer algo. Para tomar ventaja del tiempo, eh, los que quieran mandar esa conversación al grupo de WhatsApp, hagan para que todos los escuchemos ahí, ¿ok? Y que todos participemos. ¿Les parece? Vamos a hacer uso de esa vía también. Y al mismo tiempo vamos a avanzar acá con algo que yo les tengo preparado, ¿ok? Recuérdense que eran dos conversaciones, ¿verdad? Una era esta que, que tuvimos acá en el video y la otra ustedes la iban a crear. Ahora... Si ustedes se recuerdan de la, de la última parte de la sesión de, de la plataforma que vimos ahora, eh, era referente a lugares, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahora vean en el chat, yo les voy a poner, let me see, cinco opciones para que ustedes investiguen estos lugares. Ustedes van a elegir cualquiera. Eh, van a elegir uno. You will choose only one. Look at the chat. Times Square. Times Square. Ese es el primero. Let me see. Si usted quiere investigar de eso y, nos lo, y quiere hacer una pequeña presentación en, um, en PowerPoint, ok, it's all right. It's up to you. Ese es el primero. Let me, let me see. Number two, Golden Gate Bridge. There is the second one, the Golden Gate Bridge, bridge sorry, and the number three. Uh, okay, the Statue of Liberty. Number four. The Central Park. Mm 
that's number four, the Central Park. You will choose only one, people. All right, let us be clear about it. Oh, uh, it's park, 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 park. And the number five, it's about the White House. The White House, all right. So uh, today you're going to start with it. Okay, so you have five options there, people. Uh, it's going to be quite important. So you're gonna, you're going to, I, I will challenge you, okay? I will challenge you to learn more, all right? Especially because we already finished with the, with the section number three of, uh, of the platform. And tomorrow we are going to have some review about about the midterm. Okay, mañana tenemos repaso del midterm. Pero esta actividad yo se la voy a dejar uh, para para la otra semana para que ustedes um, preparen algo con tiempo y que la la información que busquen pues también se quede en sus mentecitas. Y aprendamos todos vocabulario, pronunciación y aprendamos a describir qué es lo que hay en esos lugares. Ok. Uh, pueden hacer una PowerPoint. Ok. Una PowerPoint would be really nice. Ok. Um, you, I mean. Teacher. Tell me. Tell me, Héctor. Teacher, tell me, tell me. Teacher, fíjate que ahorita yo no me encuentro en mi casa y tengo problemas de internet en el lugar donde estoy yo. Por eso es que me ha costado un poco conectarme ahorita. Uh, all right, Hector. But, but, I'm, I'm really glad I can see you in the class, Hector. Give me a second. Okay, Hector. Oh, teacher. It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. Okay, people, I wonder if you if you have questions about the activity. What are we going to do? Let me see if, if Sandra, for example, Sandra, what are we going to do with those topics? ¿Qué vamos a hacer con esos eh, cinco temas que yo les asigné en, en, el, en el chat? Los vamos a investigar y luego vamos a hacer una presentación. The five, the, vamos. Los, vamos a investigar los cinco. No, vamos a seleccionar uno. Uno All cada right. uno. All right. We're going to choose one. We're going to choose one. And then? Yes. Y luego? Una presentación. Será no, vamos a no, it, it will be individual work. I, I, I mean, it's okay. up to you. ¿Cómo se sienten más cómodos? ¿Hacerlo de manera individual? ¿O quieren trabajar en pareja siempre? In pairs for me. Individual. 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 Uh, okay, so, individual. So, you know, this is democracy, right? You know what democracy is all about. So democracy, it, it, it will be this way. Ustedes van a decidir entonces. Los que quieran trabajar en pareja, lo hacen en pareja. Los que quieran trabajar de manera individual lo hacen también de manera individual. ¿Ok? De esa manera, pues ustedes van a trabajar cómodos y van este, um, a, a, a aprender mucho. ¿Ok? Siempre y cuando ustedes se sientan cómodos aprendiendo, eso está muy bien. Vale, primero, elegimos uno de esos lugares. Segundo, investigamos cuánta información eh, sea posible. Y nos aprendemos la información, ¿ok? Por eso les estoy dando tiempo para la otra semana. Porque hay que aprenderse la información, ¿ok? Les va a quedar el día de mañana, les va a quedar, les va a quedar el viernes, el fin de semana y el lunes. Voy a, voy a preguntar por voluntarios, ¿ok? Por voluntarios. Los voluntarios que quieran presentarlo va a estar bien, ¿ok? Si alguien pues todavía no se siente como muy como muy preparado, pues entonces va a haber oportunidad para ellos siempre. Pero cada vez que yo abra un espacio para que ustedes presenten, véanlo como, wow, el teacher está abriendo el, el, el tesoro otra vez. Él quiere que nosotros practiquemos. Porque cada vez que yo abro ese espacio, es, es un espacio para que ustedes 
demuestren acá cuánto están aprendiendo. ¿Ok? Eh, Susana, ¿any questions, Susana? Yes. Teacher, y en esas, este, en esos lugares que usted ha puesto, ahí que vamos a elegir uno, tiene que ser de, por ejemplo, vaya, si yo escojo, por ejemplo, Central Park, tiene que ser de un lugar en específico o, por ejemplo, puede ser el, el, el parque central de donde yo vivo. No, it's for the United States. Ah, ok. Yeah, those places are from the United States. Ok. Uh -huh. So, but anyways, anyways, o sea, you, you have a good idea. Tiene una, una idea muy buena. Pueden elegir, entonces, si no les gustan los temas que yo he propuesto, pueden elegir uno de acá, de nuestro país, que es también tan hermoso como el, los Estados Unidos. Así que, it's up to you. Es, me gusta eso también, que ustedes propongan. Puede ser. Teacher. Hello. Teacher, o sea que, digamos, podemos hablar, por ejemplo, aquí de El Salvador, del, del yeah. Tazumal, por ejemplo. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, but, but remember, we're talking about location, we're talking about, well, it's, I mean, you will find out a lot of info. Va a encontrar mucha info. Usted decide qué es lo que nos va a presentar en la clase, okay? All right? And also, you decide, you, have, you decide something else. Van a decidir también um, cuánta información nos van a presentar. Ok, yo esperaría que por lo menos unos dos minutos o un minuto y medio que nos hablen, está súper. Ok, uh, si nos quieren hablar un minuto, pues también es aceptable, también es aceptable. Si alguien quiere hablar que a uh, 40 segundos, ok, lo importante es que estemos avanzando, que avancemos, que avancemos, que avancemos. All right, cada quien a su ritmo. Ok, I wonder if there is any other question. Is there any other question? Because we still have some, some time and we can uh, invest this time in, in the, I mean, uh, continue talking about conversations. No, no more questions no about it? No question. No question. Ok, so let's do something then. Vamos a hacer algo. Voy a, a terminar de pasar el lista. Mientras ustedes empiezan a indagar qué es lo que qué es lo que hay con respecto a esos lugares, ¿les parece? Ok. Ok. Cuando, cuando yo termine de pasar lista, les voy a decir que me digan por lo menos una frase de qué es lo que encontraron. Ok. Si el lugar es bonito, si no es bonito, o qué hay de interesante por ahí. Ok. Ya les voy a preguntar. So be ready, be ready, please. Estén listos porque ya les voy a preguntar. I don't see Cecibel over here. What's going on? Who knows Cecibel? Wow, no la veo conectada Cecibel y ella siempre está conectada. Reina, oh, ah, yeah, ya, Reina es hoy, yeah.
I don't know, but I don't see Sylvia. Sylvia, can you listen to me? No, Sylvia didn't didn't get into the class. Okay, people, I, I think that you are ready that you got at least a general idea about about the place. Okay, and I will ask some people. Let me see. Jenny Carolina. Hello, Jenny. Hello, teacher. I'm right. here. Very good. Edita. No. Edita. Okay. Now, people, I will ask some of you. We still have like 10 minutes more, so at least you have um you have gotten a, an idea about the place that you chose now you you will tell me the place you chose and then you will tell me uh, something that you got in the internet okay now let me see some volunteers who want to participate hi teacher okay. <laughs> very good so let us start with jenny and after jenny salvador uh... I'm, I'm talking about the Ilopangos Lake. Uh -huh. Ilopango, okay. Uh, the lake is the more big of El Salvador. Okay, Ilopango is one of the biggest. Uh, lake of El Salvador. Lakes in El Salvador, all right, very good. So that's, that's the information you will present on Monday, right? Yes. About um, about the lake. All right. So I, okay. I, I will recommend you the following. Le voy a recomendar lo siguiente. Eh, si ya, ya este, eligieron el lugar, busquen la información directamente en inglés. Ok. Y ya luego que ustedes lo estudien y vean palabras que no que son nuevas, entonces ahí empiezan a investigar. Pero no vayan a hacer lo contrario, no busquen información en español y luego la quieran pasar a inglés. Uh -huh. Ajá, hagamos lo, lo, lo mejor, la mejor opción es buscar información en inglés y ya luego, si hay palabras que yo no comprendo, entonces ahí las busco, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, that's the, the best way to study English. Now, Salvador, you, you, you wanted to say something, right? Sorry, teacher, uh, me confundí ahí, entonces mejor lo voy a buscar así. Uh, all right. Porque le yes. dice igual que la otra compañera. Ah, uh, it's all right. Oh, no, don't worry, it's okay. Now, is there any other person who wants to participate? No, no more people? What's going on? Let me see. Fatima says, Times Square is sometimes referred to as a crossroad. Okay, Fatima. Do you want to um, share the information with the group, Fatima Elisa? Yes, teacher. All right, go ahead. Um, so, más o menos es así la actividad. Así estoy bien, o tengo que buscar más información. No, I mean, it's all right, but I, I don't know if you want to say it orally, if you want to speak. Okay. It's okay. Times red. It's something referred to as take, no sé cómo se dice, cross round. A cross round? Yeah, cross round of the world. Take center of the universe. Take herb of the red, white, white, and take herb the gray. All right. Very good. Thank you, Fatima. And I have Gloria. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, wait. Okay. Okay, I, I read. My selection is the Golden Gate Bridge. And the Golden Gate Bridge is a suspension bridge located in California, United States, linking the San Francisco Peninsula to the north with Marin Country to the south, near Sausalito. Uh, Golden Gate is also named of the strait on which the bridge is built. 
and get its name from the strait in Constantinople. On scale, the Golden Gate signs it connected Europe with Asia, just like the ex extinct Golden Bridge between San Vicente and Usulután in our country. Oh, wow. Awesome. Very good. Now, an another, another thing that I want to tell you is the following. Um, algo que sí les voy a solicitar para la próxima semana bueno, y para las actividades que Dios nos permita que estemos juntos, es que ahorita está bien, vamos a leer, porque eh, es, si les acabo de asignar la tarea, o sea, sería injusto que yo les diga, ah, díganmelo ya sin, sin leer, por favor, entonces yo sería el malo de la película, ¿verdad? Pero ya para el lunes, yo, que, yo les solicito que todos los que vayan a participar, acuérdense que va a ser libre, ¿verdad?, que lo hagan sin la necesidad de leer la información, porfa. All right? Very good. Now, let's see. Uh, I, I will try to finish. I don't know if there are any questions or something, but I will. I want to check the people who didn't... Uh, I mean, I, I need to check the list attendance. Cecibel, si no se pudo conectar, veo que no, que no pudo conectarse. Si yo me he equivocado acá con algo, ustedes me ayudan. Catherine Judith, no la vi tampoco conectada. Um, y la otra persona es Silvia Carolina. Tampoco vi a Edita que se conectó en algunas ocasiones al inicio. Y solamente ellos. Ok, now I think we are done. Creo que casi estamos por terminar. Pero este, uh, no sé si hay alguna observación, alguna recomendación para... Para mi persona como docente o entre ustedes como compañeros, también es bueno que nos ayudemos. Eh, I have a observation. Ah, ok, ok. Mm, teacher, Kike, eh, a mí me gustaría de que cuando dé tiempo de las conversaciones para practicar, fuera así en sala de conversación en Zoom para practicar entre compañeros, aunque sea un minuto, porque yo siento de que así se, se practica más entre compañeros que pasando okay. también individual. Ajá, uh, ok, thank you. I will take it into consideration, ok. I'm taking notes, what else? Algo más, chicos. Si alguien quiere decir, teacher, por favor, no se cambie el español en lo absoluto, yo también les hago caso. Ok. Yes, yeah, you speak English. Uh, ok. Oh, could you listen to Fatima? Fatima yeah. said. Huh? Yeah, speak English. Oh, English. No Spanish. <laughs> I, no Spanish. No Spanish. No, nothing. I did. I disagree. <laughs> English. Uh, listen to Kenny. Kenny said, I disagree. Now. She remembers about the word disagree, agree and disagree, right? So that's fantastic. <laughs> no, Julio, Julio has problems, right? A veces, uh, a veces son cosas las pocas que le entiendo y, y adivinando le contesto. Now, listen, I, I will tell you about the key. Solo con eso, solo eso les digo porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo. Les voy a dar este, una clave. Mientras más le hable el docente en inglés es mejor. Yo sé que ustedes están en básico, pero como dice Julio, hay cosas que no, pues está bien. No es necesario que entendamos al 100% todo ahorita, sino que nos acostumbremos al idioma. ¿Ok? Somos como esos bebecitos. Cuando, cuando, cuando venimos a este mundo, no hablamos ni japonés, ni inglés, ni alemán, ni ruso. Y si nos llevan a Rusia, aprendemos ruso. Si nos llevan a Alemania, aprendemos alemán. Si nos llevan a Inglaterra, aprendemos in inglés, etc. Entonces, en esa situación estamos, cuando estamos en inglés básico. Pero cuando uno es bebé, todo el mundo le habla a uno como que si uno ya supiera las cosas. Pero un bebé no sabe las cosas. Entonces, de tanto escuchar, empezamos a, a crear nuestro lenguaje. Lo mismo sucede acá. Entonces... No necesariamente vamos a, a comprenderlo todo, pero sí es necesario que lo practiquemos todo, ¿ok? Y con eso los dejo, hagan el midterm y mañana vamos con repaso. 
Okay. Uh, I hope you have a good night and that you, um, I mean, tomorrow you have a great day. See you tomorrow, people. I see you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.